Great. Well, obviously, we're with Danny Boyle, Simon Beaufoy, and Aaron Ralston. Mate, um, 127 Hours, your story. How was it entrusting these guys? What did, you, what did you have to do? Did you sit down and talk to them for a few times first? Like, what was it? Did you know their stuff? I did do that, but, but it was, uh, they earned it. They earned that trust uh, from the respect and a, a shared vision of, of what we wanted to do with it, to make a film, not a gratuitous horror movie, but a, an inspira inspiring, uplifting, authentic tale. And of course it needs to be adapted and, and fictionalized. And, uh, to some extent, that, like Simon, a conversation we had about that, that it takes you, the fictionalization can take you deeper into the essence of, of the truth of my, of my experience. And that's what they did. They delivered my experience to us for everyone to go through, to, to live and to feel that, that joy, the uplift of being alive in the end. Well, one of the things that's amazing to me, actually, in all of your films is that all the, the, the contents are obviously very different, but you have this amazing ability to make people feel like they're going through the experience in terms of making you feel like you're stuck in the canyon, making people feel like you're in the slums of India. It's like, was that what attracted you to this project? Was that kind of that visceral element? Yeah, I, I, um, I don't really, I don't really, I don't really like it being objective. You know, I know people trust things being objective. And I said, in fact, the first time I met Aaron, I said, I don't want to make it as a documentary. I think it would make a wonderful documentary, but that's not what you, that, what, what I'll do for it. What I'll do, and it's the perfect story for it, is to try, with Simon's help, is to try and make people feel that they're there as well and they're going through the experience as well. And my take on it was always that's the only way you'll ever be able to tolerate watching what he had to do to get out of there I, if you are kind of going through it yourself in a way and saying we've got to do it so you become Aaron in a way you know in some kind of way and people do get it like that you know it, they um, people do kind of have that feeling and you get the reward you get from it like the reward Aaron's got is just beyond compare. You get life given back again. And of course, some people had it a little too much. We had to have people <laughs> reacting in the theaters, you know. <laughs> but in the nicest possible way, they weren't critical of the film. They all, <laughs> they'd all wake up afterwards and say, oh, good film, enjoyed that very much up until the point where I, yes, <laughs> stopped watching it. I, I think there, there's actually a very distinct um, difference about the, the, the people, they weren't painting during the actual amputation, that, it, that it's actually the, the moments of, of the release, that it was the liberation. That's that's when people go down. It's like almost that, the, and that was what it was for me. That it was the euphoria of that freedom of having my life again, and because you've gone through the depth of this increasing hell, and then and then to be given life again, that that's that can be too much for. Yeah. It's, well, we're live on live stream. We actually just got a question in from Matt Cosentino, and he wants to know, Danny, how long you work on a script before it's done with you and Simon. Well, uh, before you start rehearsing and start working on it, how long do you take with the script? Is there a set finite amount of time with anything? How long did this one take? No, there isn't really. The, the, this one was really quick, yeah. I mean, I worked on it for a, a little while on my own and then Simon took it over and we had, we probably spent about three months on it each, I would guess, is that right? Something like that? Yeah, yeah, no more than that, I think. I would say about four months total. Yeah. Because yeah. we were, a year ago, Almost today, well, a year ago when the Golden Globes were on, we were watching the real video messages that Aaron had left in a hotel room and outside all these cars pulling up for the for last year's Golden Globes. So it's happened really fast. Then it was the, the heat of the summer. We went to the canyon to actually go and visit the place. And it was from that point, we're going to make a film. And I think that was mid-July or so. And then you were starting pre-production in, what, early uh, early December, I guess? So, yeah, what, six months. You guys pulled it off. <laughs> well, congratulations on all your successes from the stage production of Frankenstein to all these the Olympics and all these great movies from every genre imaginable. Um, and, uh, and we're just reminding everyone to watch the IFC Spirit Awards tonight at 10.9 Central. It's going to be outrageous.